Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to save a little money by checking the headspace um, with a barrel and bolt combination with just the go gauge. We're going to modify this into a no-go gauge as well after we're done. Done a lot of the hard parts already by removing the extractor and ejector here. We're going to get our barrel that's already installed in our receiver and hit with our hand guard on. It's okay. We're going to go ahead and take our bolt now. The reason why we have to take those parts off is because it adds a lot of spring pressure to it which will interfere with how we're going to be able to feel this pressure here. So if you notice it's already just spinning. Really easy. That's good. So that's a pass on the Go gauge. Now to save yourself, you know, sometimes these are 50 bucks, 60 bucks is I think what this one was, at 65 Creedmoor. We're going to take just take a piece of tape. In order to add this piece of tape, you know, thickness wise, this is where it measures the headspace, but we can also just add it to the back here. But how do we cut it is kind of the cool part. I'm going to take this and roll this against metal surface and, and it'll cut the rim perfect around the rim perfectly the tape I'll show you guys go in like this and once it's cut it we'll just slide this off now you've made yourself a no-go gauge the only difference is that it is a piece of tape so it's um, not metal, it'll, if you push hard enough, this might actually chamber. So you're going to use, that's why you have to remove everything here. Even with a, uh, normally you do have to remove those, but especially this case. So now our no-go gauge, we're going to chamber it. Grab our bolt, it's pretty cool, watch this. Now, if you get this lined up perfectly, Notice it doesn't even want chamber. Right there is it trying to go in. If I push really hard on the top here, I can maybe squish that tape. I don't know, actually. Let's see. That's good. Oh, here we go. Here it's spinning. It just wants to pop it out. That's how tight it is. Look at that. So that's cool. That's it. That's a pass. I'm going to show you guys that it did add the uh, uh, tight. It's not, not going in at all. It's good. I'll show you guys that I added a 20 thousandths. Just to show you. Um, I'm going to use my cheap calipers. Bear with me. These ones might take me a minute. Seventy three thousands there. There you go. Seventy thousand. So about thirty thousand even on that one. But that one wasn't chambering. So that's it.